In this video, I'm gonna go over how using your angles on the track can make difference in seconds per lap. So I'm gonna show two different ways I did the track. In the first video, <clears throat> I'm going to do the track just hitting the main line, right? Just hitting the line that every other guy out there is hitting. And, you know, hitting insides, outsides, uh, but just going going through the rough, the chop. And then I'm going to show in the second video how using your feet and your legs to manipulate the bike down straightaways and get a better angle into corners can mean seconds of a lap difference. And when you watch these two videos individually, they don't look that different. I would say the first video, I went the same speed as the second video, but then at the end, I'll overlap the two videos and just show how getting on a lean angle on your tires, on the edge of, you know, using the edge of your tires and turning before you get to the corner and setting yourself up with better angles can make you three to four seconds a lap faster. And that's, I believe that's, you know, a lot of the guys that are fast, but not pro speed fast. I believe this is one of the big differences is they just don't use the track. You want to try to use it like a MotoGP rider. So, all right, here we go. Let's watch the first video. Okay, so I'm going, going down. All right, let's see. There's the main line. I'm getting into it. It's not too bouncy. All right, so here what I do is a lot of people hold tight because they're going to the inside, and you can just see my front end bouncing everywhere, and I had decent momentum for hitting such a rough, rough line. Now here, I know the next corner turns left, and so what I'm doing is I'm making my way over too early, but then it puts me at a bad angle, sets me up through the rough once again to go to the inside. All right, now I'm going, all right, little, little mistake there, going over the step up, right? Okay, now I'm following this kid in front of me, and he's using the same line as me, right in the middle of the track. But now your bike is too vertical coming into the corner, and you can see he stalled it out because his bike was a little too vertical. Coming down the hill, main line, bump, 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 that front end beating the heck out of me. And again, come into the corner, do the corner all right, but uh, there was a lot of bumps. I probably hit 40 bumps going down that hill. And going up here, right through the middle, right through the rough stuff. Okay, I'm going inside, so let's start making our way inside. This is actually not what you want to do. You want to try to utilize the track. This section here, you're going to see in both videos, I kind of hit it the same because it's an S section. Um, yeah, there probably was a smoother line. And then I'm following the line. All right, got a good rut to bank off of. All right, go up. I'm going inside, so let's hold inside. All right, going inside again up to the uh, fly jump hitting the rut, all right, I'm going to jump it on the left and kind of go right where the guy in front of me went, right through the bumps, bump, 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 kind of pause in the corner and don't have the rolling corner, corner momentum that I should have. Here again, main line, all right, a little bumpy. Okay, here, I'm going to the inside, so I set myself up over on the left to make the inside. It's okay, but it makes it harder on myself. Right here, there's a main line, there's a rut, bump, 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 front end's bouncing around all over the place and then do the finish line double. All right, so here is lap two. Um, this one, again, went inside of the rut where there was no bumps. Okay, I'm set up in that line, but now I use my legs and I manipulate the bike and I get on a lean angle well before the corner. Carry a lot more momentum through the corner. Jump in the same spot, but instead I start making my way over to the right so I can go out, miss the bumps, come in, and get a way better line into the corner. I would have went where the Cowie was, but he was in the smooth line, so he took my good approach to that corner. So I go over this jump, and I set myself way up on the right side of the track. And then I jump this on the right, and I angle into the corner, and I get on that lean angle as soon as I'm landing. So you can see I'm coming down this hill. The kid's taking the line I took last lap. Now watch how much his bike is bouncing in front of me, and mine's not bouncing at all. And you can carry so much corner momentum if you just sweep out just a few feet. And then here, you could, I go over, I had kind of had to go through the rough stuff next to that kid, but you can see before that corner, I swept out like another three feet and got a way better lean angle into the corner. So then come over here, this, this section, and I sweep out, and then I cut in. I don't, just because there's a rut there doesn't mean you have to hit it. Again, sweep out, cut in inside of the rut where it's smooth. This rut, I'm hitting it just to give myself something to back up to so I can get the speed to get over this jump. But again, I land about three feet over, and I wait to cut down for this corner, carrying more, more, more corner momentum. Here, I'm going to go tight to the right, not the main line, just because it's smoother. And then I jump to the right, and I angle myself in. So I jump about three feet over off the lip to get a better angle for that corner. And then here, instead of hitting the main line, hit the nice smooth line on the inside. And then when I come over the finish line jump, watch how I set myself up. I jump way to the right, and then I miss the bumps and get a lean angle that's better coming into that corner. All right, so I've overlapped the two videos. Right here, they're about even. The top one is using the main line and not sweeping my corners. Bottom is sweeping my corners. So you can see they're pretty even right now. I'm actually ahead of my bottom one. 
um, using the main lines. But as we hit here, this is the first part of the track, I really start to sweep, I cut in, I pull myself about a bike length, even though I had to hit the rough line because of that guy next to me. Going up the jump here, top one I'm gonna stay in the middle, right one I'm gonna use the edges of the track and get a better lean angle going into the corner. So you can see right here, all right, now I'm almost that full corner ahead of myself. And coming down the hill, this is where I really pull a lot of time. Just by going to the left three to four feet, I carry momentum. And you can see the kid in front of me bouncing around, but I'm able to carry way more momentum down that hill. And now I got a good, you know, half a straightaway on myself, quarter of a straightaway, big straightaway here. Here, using the momentum, carrying way more momentum. And now I got at least, you know, five to six bike lengths on myself. Coming down here, using the track, carrying momentum, not stopping going and not bouncing around. And one thing I should mention too, this is a great way to get rid of arm pump, miss the bumps. You know, it, it, people get arm pump because they're holding onto a jackhammer around the track, miss those bumps and it will save you a ton of energy. I mean, at this point now I'm almost a full straightaway ahead of my lap where I hit all the main lines. So like I said, this is a big problem that I see with all types of racers. And you can see it just by the people I'm following that they jump into the main line and they just bounce their way through it. So it's super, super important. Think of the track like a street bike racer would. Use all the angles, all the edges and set yourself up properly and you'll actually miss the bumps.